I have already pled guilty to being a plant murderer. It's not the plants, it's me. Oh my goodness. But after a while, I was just kind of over it. And I was like, you know what? I do not take the blame for killing that plant. But did it die in my care? Yes. I killed this plant, but I want to try again. Hey you guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyra and for today's plant video, we're going to be talking about five plants that I have killed and will not be adding back to my collection. Um, <laughs> uh, if you're a subscriber coming from my plant tour video that I recently posted like a month ago now, um, you know that I have already pled guilty to being a plant murderer for sure. So I'm just going to go over five plants that I've killed and I definitely will not be adding those plants back to my collection just because it stressed me out too much. Okay. <laughs> and if you like more planty content like this, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below, leave a comment hit subscribe and yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so for the first plant on my list we have the photonia i'm gonna insert photos here but yes i've had the regular green and white photonia i've had the pink ones i've had the red ones i killed them all and I don't know why they're so vocal about their watering, but for some reason, I just can't keep up. I can never just keep up with the waterings for some reason. I'm not, well, I'm saying for some reason as if I don't know I'm a chronic underwaterer. Um, anyways, so yeah, the Fetonia, I've tried multiple times and it's just not for me. Moving on, next plant, we have the Peace Lily. You guys, the peace lily was one of the first plants I kind of um, bought. Was it my first plant that I bought? I don't know. I honestly, I can't remember. But um, yeah, the peace lily, yeah. Again, they, I just cannot keep up with the watering. Like, the peace lily is vocal as well. You're going to notice a theme with all of these plants. Maybe, let's see. Yeah, maybe one of these plants is not really um, vocal about needing water. I personally just, it's me. It's, <laughs> it's not the plants, it's me. Oh my goodness. The second plant on my list is the peace lily. Next plant is the cordyline. Now, my boyfriend actually got me this plant. Um... I did not have the proper lighting for it. That was all. I was really trying to take care of it. And I, at the time I that I had it, I couldn't find much on the care of that plant either. So I was really just kind of in the dark with that one. But yeah, unfortunately, that one did not make it through my trial and error period. So yeah, the third plant that has been killed is the cordyline. So plant number four is the scandaptis, scandapsis. <laughs> um... I don't know which one it is. Pictus, um, it might be Argerius, it might be Exotica, it might be Silvery Anne, I don't know. But um, yeah, that one, she died. Um, and it also just was not growing well for me for some reason. I gave it enough water, I was giving it enough light at that time. So that plant just didn't agree with me. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. That one just, it just kind of up and died. I tried to take cuttings and propagate it, but after a while, I was just kind of over it. And I was like, you know what? If you want to die, just go ahead and die. <laughs> I've done all I can do for you, okay? So yeah, the fourth plant is the Scandapsis, whatever one that one was that I had. And for the fifth plant, I am going to mention the um marble queen pothos that died out on my balcony this summer <laughs> i do not take the blame for killing that plant but did it die in my care yes um i don't like i'm i don't know something about the marble queen pothos and how she just kind of shriveled up and died on me just kind of rubbed me the wrong way and honestly I'm not really feeling her anymore. 
unfortunately. <laughs> Cause she's a beautiful plant but kind of my marble queen got replaced with my golden pothos my golden pothos has enough variegation for me to consider it a marble queen in spirit so yeah i will not be adding another marble queen to my collection you guys and bonus plant um i just want to mention this because you know i killed this plant but i want to try again so <laughs> the plant that I want to try again with that I have killed is basil. And I think I saw this YouTube video or shorts where they put the basil in Lekka and grew it that way. And I'm like, hmm, basil does need a lot of water. So I'm like, it just makes sense to put it in Lekka and then just, you know, y'all y'all know where I'm going with this. So I'm definitely going to be getting some more basil. It literally died within the week of me having it. And I was just like, yo, well, I didn't even get to harvest any basil. <laughs> So yeah, I'm, just, I'm actually really excited to try again. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Those are five plants that I have killed. So yeah, you guys, being a beginner plant enthusiast is not easy. You definitely have a lot of trial and error to go through before you figure it out. And that's one thing that plants have really, really taught me is that you give too much love. It can be a bad thing. You give not enough love it can be a bad thing so yeah please consider subscribing down below i will see you in our next video later